Howdy, I'm Matt, and do you want this much foam for $99? I kid you not! If you don't know that model, that is my ex-UAV Clouds. And as you can tell, I really like that model by how careful I am just trying to stand it up there. And of course, we are missing two wings. Now, what are we talking about? $99, Matt, where do I bite your arm off to? Uh, in short, there is a thread over in the Facebook group which came from the XUAV Mini Talons uh, group uh, from Finn Jew, who I've known Finn for a while that he works at XUAV. And they're working on a brand new model called the Snow Goose. Now, no matter what we all may think of Snow Goose, and actually it's probably named after a bird called the Snow Goose, which is actually a very... Look, Google it, you'll see what I mean. Uh, I'm, I'll stick a picture up. Uh, whatever we may make fun of the name, we cannot argue with a $99 pre-order. Uh, now, I know some of you are going to want to know the specs of this, etc, etc. And I am basing this off my own personal experience of the XUAV Clouds, which is just a fantastic big puppy in the sky. It's the tamest model, which I think I own. The only difficulty which I have, and you need to be aware of this, is because it's a 1.8 meter wingspan model, is that launching it is a bit tricky by yourself, especially with the clouds because it's got no finger grips. Uh, it's definitely a two-man job, one person to be on the sticks and somebody else to chuck it for you. But the second you chuck it, there's so much thrust in the front of it because uh, it's twin motors on the front. Uh, it's gone into the sky and like I said, it's the biggest puppy which I own because it's just extremely well behaved and oh and that one i know some of you are going to be asking uh, what kind of batteries can i run in that uh, i run mine with a pair of 8000 milliamp for uh 4s packs in there uh you could probably get easily 20000 milliamp in there if you're uh, very good with your wiring and keeping the center bay uh, big. Now, I don't know for the Snow Goose exactly what the full details are. There is a photo which they've been posted in here. I'll give you the details and I'll show, tell you how to buy it in a moment. You just got to shoot an email uh, off to Vivian over at XUAV. Now, it's EPO, which, let's be honest, probably needs laminating. Okay, uh, I, I laminated my XUAV clouds and that's probably why it's still so clean today and I've had mine for over a year now. Uh, wingspan 1.8 meters, uh, length is about a meter. Now the one thing which is a bit of an odd thing about this model, and I know I'm going slightly off top topic, but if you were going to spend $100 on the model you'd want to know these things wouldn't you? Uh, so the one oddity is that I do class the XUAV clouds as being a bit short fused and I, you can hardly see that on there. So is in that like the distance from the nose to the tail, and it is a V tail, is quite short. Uh, so uh, it does look a bit odd, uh, but um, I love mine to bits. So it has a strange look, but uh, it's I, I call it short fused if that makes any sense. It's, yeah, it feels like it should be longer. Uh, oh, and on this one it has huge, great big uh, fins for the V tail on the back. Uh, which is just nothing special, very easy to set up in either Tyrannus if you're going to fly au naturel. It's nothing complicated in iNav if you just set up, use like the Nano Tannin or the Mini Tannin as a reference, basically like for like. Uh, and if you're using an Eagle Tree Vector one, well there's a VTEL set up in the, in the thing as well. So yeah, VTELs, don't be as scared of, of a VTEL, uh, absolutely fine. Really good actually because it keeps the tail fins up out of the dirt uh, when you land. So I do like that. Uh, they say the kit weight is about 800 grams, which is probably about right. Uh, do factor in that you'll need two ESCs, you'll need two motors. Uh, I'm using the Sunny Sky. Let me get this right because they are really good motors, but a bit expensive. They are uh, the X2814-9 which is the 900 kV sunny sky motors which were about $30 each they, they were very expensive but they have been absolutely flawless and very low current usage as well as in the, no more than a couple of well I say four to five amps per motor uh, cruise so this one does cruise for 10 amps uh, for a decent speed uh, let's have a quick look uh, efficient cruising speed which I would just know what I know about the clouds which is the former version uh, I would agree with uh, wing level five to six now oh a little note here I'll put a link in the video description below so click on show more and I'll put a link to somebody smashing one of these around the sky 
Uh, and he was actually quite surprising for such a large wingspan model how well it actually flies. I think that was in the Facebook group, in the Mini Talon Facebook group uh, as well. So you may, might need to be a member of that group to see the video. But I have seen it being thrown around and he was really chucking it around in the sky as well. Uh, so, yeah, they, <laughs> it always gets me. They always suggest a parachute landing uh, because that model and this one will have... Uh, a, t a top main bay, then it will have a secondary bay further back, uh, and then it will have another bay up underneath as well. Now, if you'd like to see more details about my XUAV uh, clouds, then I'll put some links at the end of this video so you can go and have a look so you've got a rough idea. Just be aware the Snow Goose is the newer, updated version of that one. Uh, and to be honest, if it wasn't $99, uh, I, I w it wouldn't have immediately gone, whoa, and I wouldn't be making this video. But $99, which is like, we'll say 75 quid, is an absolute bargain. And the reason why it's cheaper is because there's no middleman. There isn't a Banggood and there isn't a gear best uh, in the, like, taking their cut here. Now, the one thing which we don't know, and I don't know, is how much the shipping of this one is. I don't know if it's $99 shipped or it's $99 from the model and a million dollars for shipping I don't know that you've kind of seen the information which I've got uh, from XUAV uh, and they're releasing this for the FPV fanatics which is me and probably you too if you've carried on and then still watching this video uh, so uh, what I'll do I'll put a link to this thread uh, from the XUAV mini Sans, uh, pilots group Okay, so you will need to join that group so you can see it fully. I'll give you a quick rundown on there and you'll see that it's one, uh, 1 1.8 meters. Uh, and again, you need to send an email and I'll put the email in the video description for you, which is Vivian at x-uav.cn uh, and you wonder what the cn is for china and you can see the chat which is going on here on the screen so i will pause for a moment so you can read that uh, going on there and there is and again there's lots of other posts in there uh, and i think it's absolutely um, crazy and there's a discussion about banggood going on in there as well uh, and yeah there's a question around the postage to the uk which is the only unknown right now uh, and i also want to say a big heads up to atif and also Steve for posting it in the Rag the Nuts off Facebook group. That's why I knew about it yesterday, but I had no idea that they were gonna do like a pre-order for $99. So I think that's a bit of a bargain. Oh, uh, planes will be successfully delivered in October. So whether that's they get all the models out of production and then get them out shipped out is in October. So I'm gonna be a little bit vague. I'm gonna say October, November, assuming that you're based in the UK or maybe the US. Uh, and as much as I know is $99 uh, plus shipping, which is an unknown value right now. Okay, so that is the Snow Goose. If it is half the model of what the XUAV Clouds is, and this model, uh, just looking at it, is is definitely based upon the XUAV Clouds, uh, it is going to be an absolute corker. Okay, like I said, for uh, those of you which have seen the Model Monday series where we look at the best models which I own, the XUAV Clouds is in that video, and I'll put a link to that in the top right hand corner now. Uh, and again, I'll put it at the end so you can watch it, is that it is one of my favourite models of all time. And I actually say in that video, it's a bit bloody awkward because there's nowhere really selling them anymore. And then XUAV, the company who makes the clouds, has come out with a new version called Snow Goose. Happy days! So don't shoot the magic messenger if you go out and spend spend hundred dollars like I'm about to go and spend hundred dollars because I've literally emailed Vivian going hi Vivian I've seen the message in the Facebook group I'd love a snow goose for ninety nine dollars here's my PayPal address I'm based in the UK Cheerios Matt that's what I've sent them. <laughs> And why not? It's a hundred dollars. Um, so it made me feel well. Number one, we'll do a video on it because it'll be worthy of a video. Uh, and number two, it'll be the backup for my XUAV clouds, and it's half the price of what I spent on the XUAV clouds. The, the XUAV clouds had a ticket price of a hundred and eighty nine dollars ninety nine when that first came out. Woo! Anyway, very excited, Matt. My email's been sent. Look after me own first, you know. And then I'll make a video, share this with you uh, in the Facebook group. So, like I said, all I know right now is the XUAV Clouds, which was the model before that, was absolutely brilliant. I know that they've been and posted the Snow Goose, which is the newer version, same wingspan, 1.8 meters, uh, detachable wings on the end as well, makes it transporting 
a lot easier. Uh, it's $99. It is unknown about the shipping cost. That's the only unknown thing, which I don't know right now. And by the looks of it, nobody else knows at this time, present time of recording, which is 1959. Uh, on the 18th of September. I have no idea how long this deal is away, uh, available for. So like I said, if it's all dried up, don't shoot the messenger. I've done my best. I've literally keep kept an eye on this for a couple of days and then they've gone bang, $99. And I'm like, take my money. <laughs> so yeah, we'll have it in sometime in October. Brilliant. Anyway, it's time for me to go. I would like to apologize for the noise of the 3D printer going on here in the background, if you've been and heard it, printing some parts off for Andy. So Andy, when you see this video, they'll be done. Anyway, for myself, Matt, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this episode. Do let me know if you're gonna send them an email, uh, cause I, I think it's fantastic value for money. I've basically slapped my $99 down on the desk with an unknown amount of shipping right now. Uh, and um, I think it will be great value for money. Do you feel it's great value for money? Remember, it's a lot of foam. 1.8 meters worth of foam. Pretty well made, if, again, using the clouds as a reference. I think it's good value for money. Are you gonna get one? What do you think? Let me know down in the comments section underneath this video. And as always, from myself, Matt, cheerios. <laughs>